Washington. It's those ingredients we talked about. This is watercolor and collage. It takes me seven to ten days to do mainly each piece of my work. And it takes four to six months to do a whole book for me. Now some artists work faster, but not me. This, that's, that's just my, my routine. And I use old magazines and I paint in watercolor and I cut stuff out and I glue it together and I piece it together like a little puzzle. And, I, and if something doesn't work, I just tear it off and glue something else on there. I paint something and glue something else together. That's the best part for me about making collages. If it doesn't work, just tear it out and start it again. Just like when you start writing. If it doesn't work, rewrite it. You think Jabari wrote this in one shot? No way. That's true. <laughs> it takes you gotta rewrite it, write it over. It's watercolor and collage. <laughs> This is how I figured out how to make a collage. Now, you don't have to use paper. You don't have to use the materials I use. You can find things. You can use old wrappers and, and, and objects and old letters and, and piece them together to make your own collage. You see, I watched my grandmother just piece fabric together in, in such a way. But I had to figure out how it would work for me. You know, she not only made quilts, I mean, we start talking about her making preserves and jams, and so I watched her assemble things, the jars and the fruit and the steam and the pots and the heat. I did another book on this, this gentleman, this musician named John Lennon. He was in this little, little group called the Beatles, you know. So I tell an array of stories in the 27 books that I've done. A lot of things that interest me, but the biggest thing that interests me is hope, redemption, and a story starting out one way in the beginning and ending up somewhere else at the end. That's what I'm, and, and being surprised once that happens. I did the very first picture book on President Obama. I did it before he was the president. It's called Son of Promise, Child of Hope, Barack Obama. I was doing it during the primaries in 2008. I was so proud when the publishing house called me and said, listen, we're going to do a book on, on um, Mr. Obama. We want you to do it. I was like, great. They, they're putting their political um, aspiration online, and they're going to go for it. But when I got there, I figured out that they were doing books on John McCain <laughs> and Obama. <laughs> they, they, they were covering their bases, you know. I was like, wow, okay, well, I got the winner, so we're going to go with the winner you know, at the time. But we had, I had a, a, a ball doing that. What is this? Anybody can recognize this image here? You know, you know this one? This is the White House. You probably can't see it in the back, but there is horse and buggies in the front of the White House in this picture, so this must be the White House from a long time ago. This is actually when Abraham Lincoln was at the White House. This is a book I did with Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln in a book. But I showed you the end result. This is what it looks like in the very beginning when I'm doing a story. After Jabari has written the story, the words come to me and I do a storyboard. Thumbnail sketch. I use an ink pen and just do little sketches in my journal. And, cut it, and then I cut it all out and I, 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 nail, I, I put thumbtack into the wall in my studio. And then I start getting my characters to pose. Did you know what I mean when I said kids pose with my books? Yeah. Okay, give me a volunteer. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. I need a volunteer. Thank <laughs> you.